His mother gave me a firsthand and very emotional look at his room and shared with me the special memories that it holds for all of them. Maureen, this is his room? This is my son's room. Um, mind you, he's been gone for a while now. Um, this was his desk. This was his bed. Um, he left when he was 18 to go away to college. Um, and he came back and forth, you know, throughout the holidays. There's a nice picture of him there. When was that taken? That was taken actually on a cruise ship, a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. A different cruise? A different cruise, yeah. How long ago cruise. was that? That was about three years ago when we went to Greece. He's a handsome He's man. He's a very handsome man. This is supposed to be George? Yeah, when he was that, I, <laughs> that was supposed to be George, but uh, it looks like, um, doesn't look, it looks actually like Brie, but it doesn't look like George, not so at all. George and his sister. Yeah, has George and his sister. And this over here is, is George and his father. That's George and his father in the this store. This is from the local newspaper. That's the, the local time. newspaper when they were um, doing some kind of um, promotion, uh, 70th year promotion. How and long had they been working together? Um, two years, just over two years. Yeah. How wonderful was that for you to have father I, and son together? I loved it. I loved it because when I go down there, the two of them would be down there working together and I thought oh he's he's he was away at college he went to Boston to work but now he's home and he's here and we're all together again and it was wonderful and obviously it was a well-known store in town yeah very well known in British. Store. very well known store yeah yeah very the two of them were very well known and worked well, hard together yes in worked very very hard together came home at night very very tired very very tired it sounds like George I was looking at some of the books here uh, and he was a wine master so he was yeah, studying he was studying the wines he was really really getting into the wines um, he was pretty good at it actually he was um, very very enthusiastic about it interested in it he really was interested in in the wine business. See, here's a wine course. He took the complete wine course. He did. He 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 was really into it, and he was really looking forward to the future of working on it with with the uh, wine store. What is this? This looks like a, a his little bracelet. That's his little bracelet when he's born. And this is Greenwich Hospital when it says, "I'm a boy." Smith. Yeah. He was here for almost two decades. Oh, yeah. And then he came back to live after, uh, after he left Boston. He came back here to live for a year before he started um, working, with, when he was working with my husband. And so he lived here for a year and he moved out after a year. But we loved having him. We loved having him home. You know, they say they come back. He came back, but we loved it. Also, you have some yearbooks yes. out here, too. Yes. Where's his, um, where's George? George is here. It says, all men are great in their dreams. Reality just narrows in the competition. And at the end, he says, thanks, Mom, Dad, and Brie. The legacy continues. Mm -hmm. So he was honoring you even in high school. Mm -hmm. He was talking about you, which is a nice, a nice thing, huh? You were very close. He's a handsome young man, too. Handsome and nice. A lot of memories, huh? Yeah, lots of memories. And thank God we have good memories, because lots of families don't have good memories. We have good memories. And here, you see, we have a lot of trophies. He has his trophies here, and he has his numbers here. Um, Babson College. Um, he was quite an athlete. Yeah, he was, but he didn't give it 100%. Um, he just wasn't, he wasn't really a jock. He could have been, but he wasn't. What is that from over here? And that's when he played, um, you know, uh, local Glenville, the Mavericks. Which one is he? Um, this is him here, I think, doing the big tackle. <laughs> yeah, he loved that. He did that all the way through, and then he played in high school, and I think he played for two years, two and a half years in high school. This is uh, my son um, at Greenwich High School, and one day I was in here and I found that he had his father's pin as well in here. This is from his fraternity in this, college. This is from his fraternity, yes, in Babson College. He obviously loved the social life yes, there, right? Yes, he did. He loved the social life there. And, and in fact, three of them just came down now. They were groomsmen in his wedding, and they just came down to um, meet with us. And they are devastated. They're absolutely devastated by what's happened to him. Does it make it more difficult it's as time goes by? It's more difficult as time goes by. 
because we're not getting any answers. And that's what's making it really difficult because sometimes I think maybe he's survived and maybe he's out there and he needs us. But then, you know, I think, oh God, how could he survive that? But I really think that he's gone. And when that comes to you, it really comes to you with a belt. But you just have to go on and get answers. And when we get answers, I think, will be stronger. And people say, you know, as time goes on, it gets easier. But you know what? As time goes on, it gets harder, I find. It just gets harder and harder. Because look at that smile. I mean, my God. We're, just, we're such a small family, and we were so close. But we will get answers. We will. And let's hope that they do. We're going to have much more of my interview with the Smith family tomorrow. I was able to sit down with the whole family in a very candid conversation. They even reveal that they think George's wife, Jennifer, has not told them everything she knows. Here's a sneak peek. Are you satisfied that you're getting all the information from her, you as a family? Um... I think we'd like to have a little more. I would like to have a little bit more from her. She hasn't given us totally everything that I think she possibly could. But I, could I have. think she um, she has stated that the FBI has requested mm. that she keep certain things right. from that evening uh, mm. quiet. So you know that that could be the reason why right. we don't and have. I think a, the truth will come out eventually. But that's going to yeah. be troubling to you as a family. This is someone who came into your family. Mm -hmm. You deserve to know mm -hmm. it's your it's son. Difficult. So it's it's difficult. It's difficult. It's made it hard. It's made it very hard. Yeah. And the Smiths are going to have much more to say about the case and who they think may be involved and why they told me that they believe that their son was murdered. We're going to show you a riveting interview tomorrow night right here on Live and Direct. And sadly, George Smith is not the only person who mysteriously disappeared. Story that is causing an international firestorm. The terrorist who killed a U.S. Navy diver in the infamous TWA hijack.